Hey guys, Marshall from Going Gear. I made a couple videos before showing you the Olight offices, their testing equipment. Here we are at the Olight factory. So we're actually gonna be able to see flashlights being made and assembled. It's gonna be really, really cool. I'm really excited about this. So let's take a look. So we went down a level because we're gonna start at the very beginning with the raw materials. You can see they have every uh, size rod and tube that you can think of of aluminum. I mean, look at all these different rods of aluminum. And in other parts, they have some blocks, they have some bars. Not a whole lot of air conditioning in here, but uh, over here, they cut them. So they cut them to size for the different models, the different heads and the body tubes and the battery compartments and all that. And then they have all of these shorter pieces of aluminum and then they go into the CNC machines that are making a whole lot of noise behind me. So depending on the model, you know, maybe that this is an M23 head. Thank you, very considerate. <laughs> uh, maybe this is an M23 head or one of the larger models. Then they take these solid pieces of aluminum and cut them down and machine them down to be what they need for that particular model. So let's take a look at some of the machines. You can see they've got grinders over here. Uh, there's the cutting machines over there. Looks like a mill maybe over there, drill press, something. Uh, but then they have a lot more modern machines back here. Here's all the, this one of their very many CNC machines. Uh, in the different rooms that I've seen, they probably have 50 or 60 of these machines. It's pretty impressive. But you can see all the different bits that they have in there, machining out the different parts. So this one's obviously opened up so we can see a little bit better because when it's running, with all the lubricant and everything hitting the window, you can't see a whole lot. But we'll show it just here in a minute, but you can see what it does when they're creating the different parts, taking those solid blocks of aluminum and machining them down to the different parts as appropriate. So let's take a look at some machines that are running see what we can get. We've got one sort of opened up so we can see what's going on. Spraying stuff all over the place, but uh, this will actually give you a view of what happens inside these machines. So they took the raw material, basically just a, a rod of aluminum, or, and they're turning it into the beginning of a flashlight head, I assume this is. So this is the first part of the machining process. So now we're taking the parts that we saw before and turning them into these. Once the parts have been machined, they clean them off. You can hear the compressed air going. Probably can't hear me very well. And then they have just thousands of trays everywhere that they put the parts in so they can go to QC and clean and assembled. So this machine's whole purpose, the one that's back here, is to take the anodizing that's on the thread of the S10R3 and remove it. Obviously it doesn't do it for only this flashlight, but that's what it's doing for this particular model. So there are a whole lot of machines involved in the processing of each flashlight. The S10R3, for instance, takes eight of these CNC machines to create. 
and each one does a different part of the process of the machining before it goes to assembly and quality control. So now we're looking at an S1R body and you have another machine that we just saw that takes and removes the anodizing inside there. So it takes one of these and turns it into one of those. This machine is a big old metal saw. Let's watch it go. Big old slow metal saw. So these are the raw materials for Olight's weapon mounts. They cut them down to size, anodize them, process them. So that's what those bars are. So this machine we really can't see the inside of. We'll show you here in just a second. This takes this big old chunk of aluminum and turns it in to a much more finished body of the H2R, Olight's new headlamp. Let's take a look and see probably nothing. <laughs> So we've got a, a window we can't see inside, but inside this machine, turning this into this. This machine is doing the next step for a really similar light. It's taking the H1R part, similar to what we saw with the H2R, and turning it into these. Let's see if we can see down in there. Here's a little bit better angle so we can actually sort of see what's going on in there. This is the much quieter air conditioned quality control room. So we'll spend a little bit of time in here. This is where they take every single part that you saw made out on the factory floor and all those CNC machines and make sure that it fits their quality criteria, which means appearance. Make sure there's no imperfections in the anodizing. Uh, and they also check the tolerances. So they've got a whole bunch of calipers over there making sure that the tolerances and the dimensions and everything are up to spec because they want every flashlight body to fit every tail cap that they make for the model. Not just now, but down the line. So when they're doing warranty work, they want the tail caps that they make in three years to fit that the bodies they're making today. Uh, so it's really impressive to see just every part that they make, they test all of them. Uh, and one note I wanted to mention is pretty much the only thing they don't do here in the factory is the anodizing. And the reason is the chemicals that you have to use for anodizing are not the most environmentally friendly. They're uh, pretty, pretty rough chemicals. So what they do is they do that off-site. Um, they have another company do that uh, because this area or this factory is not rated for the chemicals um, because China has a lot more strict environmental controls than they used to, which is good. So they have another company do the anodizing and then they bring them back and then they start machining the threads and machining the parts out like we saw earlier. So we're going into a semi-clean room. I'm gonna try to keep myself semi-clean. I'm already impressed by this thing right here that you just stick your foot into. And it gives you a little, a little booty for your foot. Come on, that's great. All right, let's go. So all that stuff we just saw being made then gets cleaned, checked, tested, and comes up here. And you've got a whole room full of parts. So this whole room is full of all the different parts of the flashlights, you got a head of a flashlight there that looks like an X7 head. Let me put it back in the correct spot so they don't get mad at me. And uh, that's what's in here. They have all the raw materials uh, that they use to make the flashlights or the, the assembled pieces that we're going to see here in a little bit. Another head looks like an R50, R50 Pro. Even stickers. Little parts, switch components. 
So that room had the bodies and a lot of the parts, the O-rings, the stickers, the lenses. This room has the electronics. There's a locked cabinet over there, a few cabinets that houses all the LEDs. And then we have the ICs, some switch components in here, uh, just a lot of little doodads, circuit boards. So that's the stuff that's in this room, all the electronics. So they take all of those parts, put them together, and make a finished flashlight. Let's go see that. So the first step of final assembly is laser engraving. That's what we have on these machines over here. You can actually see the laser going on the body of uh, S30R3, it looks like. But you can see how fast they are. And if you're familiar with the Olight engraving, you know it's super clean and looks really good. And you can see how quickly it does that. It's really impressive. They're just cranking through those things. They're putting together a bunch of H2Rs right now. They take the flashlight bodies after they have the laser engraving and start putting the heat sinks, the electronics, and the LEDs together. So let's take a look, a little bit closer look at uh, all the different pieces and parts going together. You can see they have a really slowly moving conveyor belt running down, so each station does their part. Thermal paste, it's got thermal paste over there. And she is uh, putting the circuit boards in, we just saw. And then the optics, so we've got the optics being put in. The retaining rings retaining rings in. Looks like switch components down in there. And the bezel. So you've got all those blue bezels in there. They get press fit with the machines around this gentleman. Just pressing those onto the flashlights and the clips. And over there she's putting the batteries in the lights, testing them, make sure they function properly. So you got a big old box of batteries that get put in the assembled product. What's he doing over here? Magnets. So he's got the magnets for the charging system and the tail cap. He's putting in the tail cap and the switch components or the charging system down in there. And some retaining rings, it looks like. Some more O-rings. The tail cap with the charger. So that's an H2R being assembled. We saw most of it from beginning to end. Manufacturing, didn't see the anodizing because that's done in a separate facility, but here is where they manufacture them and put them together. You can see all the different parts going in there. After the bodies and everything are put together, it goes over to quality assurance just to make sure everything works properly. And then we have Jesse and then packaging. So they put everything together. So you've got foam inserts, the cardboard, chargers down in there, everything being put together to create that final finished product. And we'll go all the way down. There's your tray of H2Rs. You even have the barcodes down there. And then there's the sleeves that get put on there. And you have your 100% finished product. Assembled, packaged, put in boxes and warehouse before it goes out to distributors and then out to you. Uh, big thanks to the owner and founder of Olight, Fox, for letting me harass his workers for several hours today, uh, showing you what they do. I thought it was really, really interesting. This is one of the big reasons I came to China, was the ability uh, to make this particular video and showing their office and showing their new products. So thank you, Fox, thank for you letting me do that. Thank you for your time. Thank you. You look uh, so professional. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you heard that. Somebody called me professional. First time ever. <laughs> Thank you.
This is my first time stepping foot in here. I haven't seen any of this. So assembly, it looks like this room. Uh, maybe we should have somebody do a tour before I start talking about things that I don't know about. Let's do a tour, hang on. Hey, Laura, we should probably have a tour first. Huh? We should probably have a tour first. I don't know what any of this is. Oh, uh, your me is a uh, So here's one of the machines that's actually running. You can see it just going to town on an aluminum block. What are they, what are they making in here? Uh, they are making other products. It's not for flashlight. Oh, well. <laughs> so the other side, we make the flashlight. The other side. So what is this? What's going on? I don't know what, I don't know what's happening. What is he doing? You're going to take one and put it in there? Okay, for your safety. Okay, another one, when you get off the bus, please take care of all your valuable things with you because we are going to our scenic sports, maybe it's crowded, right? So you need to take care of your passport or your phone because if you lose uh, enough things, then you will have no mood, okay? No mood to enjoy the uh, beautiful things, <laughs> okay? So just take care of all, your, uh, all of your valuable things. Okay. Hey, Ray, pick up a duck. Oh, we're going to hit it? Did we just hit all those ducks?